today, but we'll try. What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. Uh, there's a lot of amazing stuff happening today. We have a huge pack opening uh, in hunt hunting for the second or third informed Luis Suarez. We have 40 plus gold packs saved up. We've rinsed the club again. Uh, we have something like 20 plus gold upgrade packs, the two rare player gold packs. We have something like 12 or 14 or 15 La Liga 25k player packs. We have two sets of jumbo packs, which are our squad battle rewards. And we also have the marquee matchups today. Now, um, the reason why I have uh, this beautiful man on the screen here is because if you guys don't know, if you don't watch the news in the world of football, uh, Davide Astori... Um, uh, passed away in his sleep uh, a few days ago now. And uh, it hit a lot of people in the footballing world um, uh, 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 hard. It, it, it kind of affected me as well because uh, a story is essentially my age and passed away like a fit. I'm a, I've got a dad bod and, and someone as a professional footballer as fit and, 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 and his body is so much superior than mine. To, to see someone like this so young pass away from just a heart failure, essentially, uh, really hit home. He left uh, a wife and his daughter, um, you know, uh, uh, behind. And it just it just got me thinking about my family and, 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 and all of that stuff. And I think there's certain times in life where we need to think and be appreciative of what we have and tell the people that we love that we love them, right? It's so easy to just go on in life doing the same thing over and over again we all get into those trends we all get into those ruts where you wake up you know you're not really too too loving to whoever's around you you, you get your stuff done you, you you get your lunch you go off to school or you get your lunch you go off to work you know you, you don't really hold the people that you love whether that's your mom or your dad or your wife or your girlfriend or i don't know your roommates or whatever it is right and then something like this brings us all back down to like uh, square one where you start thinking about those that you love so um, what I want to do here is for next episode, the squad builder episode for the poor man road to glory, we're going to go, uh, and do a tribute to Astore. We're, um, uh, a story apologies. We're doing a tribute to a story, um, where we put together, uh, I was thinking of what type of a squad we put together in his honor. So I was thinking of putting a past and present Fiorentina squad together. Uh, then I was thinking of putting a, uh, an Italian squad together of all the players, um, that, that, that he may have played with or that have loved him. And I think we're going to do a little bit of a medley of both. So if you have any ideas of any of the players that, that, you know, he played with or, or really, really loved him, let me know. And we are going to put him into a, um, uh, into, into a squad with a story. Now I already have an idea myself and my Twitch viewers have already started to piece together, uh, an Italian shaped squad. And there's one thing, and I've already read out this statement. Um, but this is, this is essentially what I want to get through for you guys uh, at the start of the video um, before we get into the pack opening the, and the hype of the marquee matchups and all that stuff. Um, the one guy that is 100% going to get into this um, uh, into the squad is Saponara. He's the he's he's a midfielder at Fiorentina, best friends with Astori, and uh, I just want to read real quick to you guys um, uh, a message that that uh, Saponara wrote to Astori. Now it's in Italian. Uh, I'm going to show you guys here. It is indeed in Italian, uh, but someone translated it. Now, I, I read this out on stream earlier, and uh, I got a little bit emotional. Now, the second time that I'm going to read it, I, I, I should be able to keep it together and, um, and you know, and, and, and read it out to you guys. But I want to preface this as well before we continue on um, with the episode. I realized that... Uh, the world is a is is a harsh place. It, it it really is, and and I know that there's so many people in the world that that pass away unfairly, and I know there's going to be a lot of people looking or a lot of people writing in the comments saying, Nick, well this person passed away, this person passed away. Why are we doing it about this person? Let's try and get away from stuff like that and just appreciate the fact that that we're all here on this planet for a very short period of time, and and this is um a, a fitting. A fitting tribute to someone that I think has affected so many people in a, in a different way in the world and use this as maybe a reminder to someone that you may have lost in the past. Use this as, as, as a reminder to show love to people in, in your life as well. Um, because we don't know how long we're on this planet for. We really don't. So, um, this is the Instagram post from, uh, Saponara, who's a story's best friend. 
Um, and the post is, is quite a long one and it, and it goes, and it goes, um, it goes like this. So he says, Oh, captain, my captain, why did you not come down to have breakfast with us all? Why did you not pick up your shoes from outside of Marco, uh, Sportiello's room and then drink your orange juice, uh, your orange juice as usual. <clears throat> now they'll tell us that life goes on, that we must look forward and pick ourselves up. But what will your absence taste like? Who will arrive every morning in the cafeteria, warming up everyone with his smile? Who will ask us about what we did the previous night and have a laugh about it? Who will nurture the youngsters and give a sense of responsibility to the veterans? Who will form the circle to work on our two-touch play? And who will demolish Marco on the PlayStation? With whom will the debate about MasterChef, Florence's restaurants, TV series, or games played? Who will I lean on at lunch after a tiring training session? Come on, come back. You still need to finish watching La La Land to analyze like you did with all the new movies. Come back to Florence. They're waiting for you to renew your contract and, and, and acknowledge all the good and all the positivity that you bring to us on a daily basis. Get out of that damn room. <clears throat> uh, we'll be waiting for you tomorrow at training. In life, there are people you've known forever, but have never bonded with. And then there are the Davides, a story, of course, uh, who warm to you immediately with a sim simple welcome to Florence, Ricky. Wherever you are now, keep on defending our goal and enlighten the right path from us, uh, for us from the back line. Oh, captain, my captain, forever my captain. Um... So when I read that message, uh, translated, it's been translated by a lot of people. Uh, the one I'm reading through is, is was translated by Federico uh, Manassi, who I believe is a Fiorentina fan, an Italian foreign, is English speaking Italian uh, Fiorentina fan. So uh, when I read through that, I, I, I just in, in in my heart, I was like, we we have to do a tribute to a story. Um, in the past, on the road to glory, we've done tributes to players. We did a tribute to Nuri, of course, as you guys know. Uh, when we did either a dot, I can't remember, you guys will remind me, I'm sure in the comment section down below, but we did a, uh, squad build around Nuri that was Dutch or Ajax past and present. I can't remember off the top of my head. I believe it was the past and present Ajax squad builder, uh, that we did a tribute to Nuri. Um, so as is tradition on this channel, we want to do a tribute, um, to a story specifically, and, uh, we'll reveal the squad and how we're going to put everything together, what formation we're going to use, um, uh, next episode uh, for that, but I just wanted I just wanted to to get that out there for you guys and and you know just a simple message if this video gets to ten people to gets to ten people to show a little bit more love and compassion to those that are around him I think uh, I think we would have succeeded um, for sure. So uh, from here let's just get into the episode. We've got uh, marquee matchups to do. We've got a bunch of packs to do. Uh, we've got a bunch of, of of really really cool things to do on the channel. Um, <clears throat> you know, and, uh, and I think that's exactly the route we got to go. So in terms of the marquee matchups, they're already out. I think as usual, what we'll do here is see what the marquee matchups are. See if we have the players ready for the marquee matchups, because I've been a little bit lazy in this series in terms of grinding bronze packs. I, I, over the last week or two, I haven't opened a heck of a lot of bronze packs. So I think we're definitely going to, uh, going to have to spend a little bit more time doing that over the next uh, week or two in preparation, or at least over the next couple of days, because this Friday, we've got League SBCs coming out. We've got Player of the Month coming out as well, uh, which hopefully, if we can't afford, or I don't think it's smart doing the full-on Player of the Month, maybe we'll do the loan card for the Player of the Month. A lot of people think it's going to be Mo Salah, um, so I'd like to try out that card. So we'll do his loan card for sure. Um, but all of that stems from me grinding, uh, the bronze pack method. So we really got to get on that. I won't do it obviously during the recording, but make sure to look at doing that. Oh, that's too bad. Hamburg player. I believe we just sold, uh, opening bronze packs. What's the rating? Look at that. Bayern Hamburg, Bundesliga, rare players three with a jumbo gold pack, but no requirement in terms of actual, uh, rating. So that's fantastic. And that hurts a little bit. Okay, so I might sit there. I might sit there and honestly spam some bronze packs to get this one done. Now we do have uh, a bunch of gold packs to open, so we don't have Byron players, right? We've got obviously a Kimmich, but 84 rated Kimmich would be a little bit silly to get rid of. So I think we're gonna open the packs and hope we get a um, 
There you go. And hope we get a uh, a Bayern player, even if they're untradeable. Bundesliga players, minimum of four. Rare players, three. Uh, chemistry, 90. So that shouldn't be too hard to do at all. <clears throat> so that one's good. Let's move on to uh, Hellas, Verona, and Chivo. Let's see what we got here. So you need two of them. Chemistry, 80. Minimum overall rating, 70. Okay, so Hellas, Verona. Let's see what we got here. Um... Perfect. And I believe he's untradeable too, right? Fantastic. Okay. And then Chivo Verona. Chivo Verona. Let's go. Very nice. Okay. Leagues minimum of three. Overall rating 70. And chemistry 80. Okay. So I think we can do that. Chemistry of 70. So honestly, like the Polish league and then like League 2 or something or even League 1. And that's got all the three leagues sorted out. Right? So, um, I think, let's go over to, the Polish league is, where is it? Um, oh goodness. Polish, there we go. What, what's the, what, what untradeables do we got here? Here we go. Two, see what type of goalkeepers we got. Any decently rated? There's a 70 rated one. 69 rated. We'll go with the untradeables first. Okay, right back. So 68 rated. What, what's the... Uh, okay, that's that team he's playing for. Mm, I don't have one of those extra players. Okay, so the chemistry isn't, isn't... Like, it's not too crazy, right? Yeah, it's 80 chem. Okay, then let's go with... Um, a few league uh, players to boost up the uh, the rating. What we got here? So we've got a 73 rated. Um, what do I have in League 2? Any untradeables? 71 rated. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, 67. We're really, we're really going to need a few, a few decent rated cards. Let's see what we got for League 1. Uh. What type of goals have we got in the league? I've rinsed the whole club, haven't I? Yeah, I've rinsed the whole club. You know what? Let's, considering I know I have the teams needed here, let's worry about putting the teams together once we're done, like, opening at least half the packs, which will fill the club up with uh, with players again. Okay, so we've got Nottingham Forest and um, and Derby here. Der Derby, Derby, Derby? Derby, Derby? Whatever it is. Um, okay, that's championship player teams, right? I don't know about this one. Holy Toledo. Okay. Um, so I can get a left mid in there or a striker. Two identical. Okay, let's go with this guy then. Um, Darby. Darby. What was the other team? Nottingham Forest. All right. There it is. So we got to gotta get uh, Robin Hood's team in there. Center back. England player. Oh, England players. Okay. So let's do this. Oh, gold players exactly five, too. Um, you know what? Might make more sense me doing then just the, uh, where is it? Darby's. Because he's untradeable as well, right? Yeah. Nugent? Is that Chris Nugent? David Nugent. What the hell am I thinking? Uh, team chemistry, 90. England player. Gold players exactly five. Okay. So again gonna have to sit there and open open packs but at least we got the two required teams so that's good don't use russell he's in the mls now well, he's untradeable anyway so it doesn't really do much for me okay and then players from the same nation maximum of six so paok -okay and athens this one's gonna be rough i don't know how many of uh of any greek players i have okay apparently i don't know what i'm talking about paok -okay. Um, all these dudes, are these all untradeable? Let's see. I might actually be sitting on, uh, AEK Athens. I think this is, there you go. That guy's tradable. Untradeable. So we'll do this. Um, you're tradable. You're tradable. You are untradeable. You are untradeable. And we need Uno Mas. Are you tradable? Oh, he's untradeable too. Okay. But he's Spanish. So I might hold on to that guy. I don't know if I want to rinse him yet. 
Um. Okay. Overall rating 78. Again, so we're we're sorted in terms of the players we need. Let me sell this dude. I'm just gonna list them up for. I was gonna put them up for 10k. Let's do this. 2,000. I don't know. Yeah, 3,500. I don't know if those other ones are already sold. Premium gold player pack. Oh, I might have just underpriced that card. 2,000. 3,500. 3, I may have just underpriced that. Um... Yeah, I'm a little pissed with myself. That's okay. All right. So this is... Do we? Do I have any golds? Let's double check here. Do we got any golds? No. Okay. All right. Either way, 78 rated. We'll, we'll fill the top up with whatever we get. Every single one of these teams, though, we have the players required. So the only thing we got to worry about is filling out the squads and getting the proper rating. So midway through the episode, let's get ourselves some uh, some packs. Okay. So if I go to the... I'm, I'm trying to bid on the, the Astori team, right? The, uh, the tribute to Astori squad. So I don't want to show you guys that. I got to remember not to. Um... I might spoil the uh, the squad builder. All right, let's start with the silver packs here. <clears throat> Shout out for Scotland. Okay, what up, Scotland? Yeah, my, I mean the rewards for these marquee matchups seem pretty good, which which I think is going to mean that the um, the players from these teams are going to go up in price. Absolutely. <clears throat> All right, another silver reward. Here we go. Come on. Anything useful, anything decent, anything that we can store in the club or sell. Well, I guess everything gets stored in... Eh, no. Hey, St. Patty Day, Patty's Day is coming up, so that's going to be good. In terms of promotions we have coming up next, it's St. Patty's Day and then Fut Birthday, which is one of my my favorite promotions all year, uh, is coming up very, very soon. I think Fut Birthday starts on like the 15th of this month, so in less than a, what, a week, or in less than two weeks, which should be very, very exciting if EA does it properly. Let's hope they do. Puka. Okay. There you go. Get some players back. There we go. So we get some French players in. We get some uh, League on players in who we need. I'll double check to see if that guy's worth anything. How have I only just packed David Rudder? Is he? I didn't know he was. I honestly, he used to be like the face of FIFA Ultimate Team. I haven't really seen him in any like press releases or conversations. I didn't even know he was working there. Um, uh, at EA still. All right, all this stuff will sell during the weekend league. These guys will store. All right, let's just double check this man's. See how much he goes for. Hey, I'll take it. That's decent coins. Discard. Pretty easy marquee matchup this week. Yeah, definitely. Especially if you're not like me and rinsed your entire club uh, to open packs. But I think that's one of the most fun things to do in this series. Um, is uh, is be able to rinse rinse our packs and uh, and have some fun with it. And just so you guys know as well, uh, it is a essentially a, a final ratings refresh pack opening. Uh, we've got... Yesterday, we got the rest of the world upgrades. I, I went over it on stream... Uh, the players that you would have expected to get upgrades would have gotten upgrades. So like uh, uh, Tellez, Alex Tellez, Chucky Lozano, um, uh, among... Oh, hold on. Steph is calling me. This is awkward. Hi, I'm in the middle of a recording. Oh, I know. Sorry. Yeah. 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 I'll take pink. Yeah. Yeah. Pink controller? Heck yeah. No, no, no. I want I want a pink controller. 100%. Really? Yeah. I saw if that's all they have, I'm down. I don't mind. That's cool. Hey, I'm pr I'm, pr I'm proud to I'm proud to wear pink. Okay, I love you. Thank you. Yeah, I I honestly don't do not mind. I'm 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 very comfortable with my sexuality. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. All right. Fair play to Microsoft. I will say this now. Their controllers are the biggest pile of garbage you will ever find in terms of quality. Within a month of at least a streamer or YouTuber using their controllers, the right bumper breaks off or the left analog stick stops working. Whereas, as much as I despise the actual ergonomics of a PlayStation controller, and I think these are made for lady-fingered men or tiny small Donald Trump hands, 
no offense to anyone that obviously is going to be preferring PlayStation, which is like 80% of my audience plays PlayStation instead of Xbox, but you can't deny that this thing, this thing is made for lady fingers, okay? It's really uncomfortable to use, at least for me, who is an alpha male that's got huge hands, all right? To wrestle mooses, meese, whatever you want to call them. I will say though, for how much they fail in ergonomics, this is my PlayStation controller that I got when I bought the first ever next-gen console PS4 in 2013. This is the controller that I actually started streaming with back in December 2013, directly from my PlayStation. It still works perfectly. Whereas these donkey controllers, as much as I love them, they don't even last a month. Now, that's terrible, but I will give credit to Microsoft where it's due. If you buy a $5 warranty, literally every month, once my RB button breaks, I just go right back to Microsoft or the store where I bought it and say, hi, it's broken again. And they're like, oh, here's a brand new controller. So it's just so weird that Microsoft is happy to like constantly give out new controllers instead of like working on the quality of their actual controllers. I I, I found that I find that very, very weird. Nevertheless, Steph is now picking me, uh, picking me up a pink controller, which should look good. Mila will, uh, my daughter will at least love the, uh, love the, uh, controller. I'm using her coffee mug, of course. So now she's going to think I'm using her controller as well. Uh, my first controller lasted two years. The Xbox, uh, sorry, the Xbox 360 controllers had a shelf life of forever. But these new next gen, do we even call it next gen anymore? But these new controllers for like the newer Xboxes are so terrible. They're so flimsy, it's ridiculous. Hey, yeah, Habib is sad. Is he worth anything? Not really, but he is a duplicate, so. My rule is for non-duplicates, if they're under 700 coins, I keep them. Uh, if they're above 700 coins or 750 coins, I sell. For duplicates, uh, I, I sell no matter what, because it makes no sense to discard a player that would sell. For example, Garcia... Yes, he's in a league that, that I could sell on, but for two, 300 coins, might as well keep him in the club. You never know when he's going to be worth something going forward. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So, as of right now, we have, I think, 14 La Liga premium player packs, and we've got 20 of the gold upgrade packs. The first gold upgrade pack, we get a board. Oh, okay. That's not great, but hey, an 83 rated Sommer? I'll take that. <clears throat> I'll take that. Uh, a Thero. All right, cool. Dude, these are so fun to do, man. Whenever my club starts getting stacked uh, with golds, I'm going to go back to doing this again, man. Squad battles, marquee matchups, you know, foot chat. Back to back boards. Are you kidding me with these packs? Yes. Someone? Let's go, baby. Daniele De Rossi. So. He's someone that Astori um, used to play with. So Saponara was his best friend. He's getting in the team. Gigi Buffon was very, very close to, very, very good friends with um, Astori. So in the tribute squad, we will be putting uh, Gigi Buffon into the team. I don't know the history of De Rossi and Astori, but as of right now, he's someone that I'm definitely thinking of putting into the setup. Um, among other players, uh, a lot of people are telling me that Raja Nangalin uh, was very, very close to, very, very good friends with Astori. So... As much as we want to do uh, an Italian squad and, and tribute, do we just want to do a tribute, you know? So fit in even more players that would have been close to our story. That, that's kind of what, what, what we're debating with right now. <clears throat> All right, a Piatti. That's, that's a Nick lookalike. I wish I looked as, as handsome as, um, as Daniele De Rossi. Man, that man is just a beautiful human being. So is our story, to be fair. <clears throat> There it is. Wow. Three boards out of five gold upgrade packs. Oh, it's going to be a duplicate. Who? No. Okay. I think EA... I think... I think the pack gods are like, all right, baby. Let's do it. Let's do a tribute to our story. I just... I don't see it. Okay, hold on. Let's look at this and... in my twitch channel says that's me how i don't see it at all he has gray in his beard i only have like two grays in my beard that's not fair <laughs> twins who is who <laughs> all right so we got an 85 bars ugly totally worth it okay all right okay all right 
Uh, and the, the exciting thing about these uh, uh, La Liga player packs that we're going to be opening in a little bit as well is it's either going to be um, a... I actually thought that was going to be Abu Bakar. Uh, the, the League SBC is going to be one of... At least one of the featured League SBCs is either going to be the Premier League or La Liga. So I thought, well, why not? I'm going to rinse my club. Why not get a, you know, a whole... Where is it? A whole bunch of these uh, player packs for La Liga. You fill, I get to fill up the club again with all La Liga players, and then we get to rinse them through um, the La Liga League SBCs. I think it should be perfect. <clears throat> You're an 85 rated player on uh, on FIFA. Triplets, Nick, Barzagli, and Sirigu. Guys, just because we're of the same skin tone and we have brown hair and I have a beard, that's not fair. Although Sirigu is a pretty handsome dude, so I'm down. Not to be a Debbie Downer, Nick, but you're going to get nothing here. We've already packed, like, three board players, two of which were actually pretty decent. So, you're already incorrect about being a Debbie Downer. 81 rated Smalling. Do I have a Smalling in my club? I do not have a Smalling in my club. It's Beardism. Exactly. Thank you very much. All right, come on, baby. I love these little pack openings. They're so fun to do, man. So every Mediterranean man essentially is a Nick lookalike, right? That's what I'm saying. All right, Turkish League, that's not really going to help me out too much. <clears throat> and we also have the marquee matchup packs to open too, which could be fun. Best center back in world football. Come on, can we get another board? Oh, the boards have really dried up. So we got what, three... Three boards out of like eight packs? That's now all of a sudden not very good. Three boards? Barzagli, De Rossi, Sommer. I can't think of any. Is there anyone else that I got as a board so far in these packs? I've completely forgotten. Nick, are you a Tommy Texter in the cinemas? No. I'm the guy that throws popcorn. One little popcorn. Have it drop on that person, Tommy Texter's phone, as they're sitting there. Um. Wait, did Steph just did Steph just tweet that she bought me a controller? I'm assuming you guys want to find out exactly what that looks like. <laughs> oh my god. Bought you a controller that matches my shoes and purse. Dude, it's a Minecraft pink controller! Steph, it's not a pink controller. Wait, is this the proper controller though? Oh my god, she bought me a Minecraft pig controller. Ethan is going to be so excited about this. Both my kids are going to be stealing this controller. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Alright, well, that's cool. Um, Yo, Hamburg. Oh, it's another untradeable player. Um, Hold on. We've got the little trick, right? I know this is a little bit idiotic. I know. I know this is a little bit idiotic for one just 600 coin value player. But at the same time, I think it is kind of worth to do this. Having a girl like that with a sense of humor. I mean, hey, I'm, lucky. I'm a lucky guy. She also made me eggs and toast this morning before going out to get me a new controller. So I'm definitely living the dream. Nick is a pig confirmed. You, I'm a swine. Absolutely. You should see me after Wasted Wednesdays with my beer farts. Oh, sweet, sweet baby. Jesus, I don't know how Steph stays with me with those beer farts, man. 79 rated untradeable, Nick. You're dumb. Eh, shush. Okay? Eh, shush. M me and my little weird mannerisms is exactly why we have so many coins on this account, okay? Hamburg. Uh, all right, let's, let's get this Hamburg one done. Oh, I didn't pack a Byron player, did I? Oh, this is so awkward. Did we pack a Byron player? I think, I th I'm pretty sure you guys would have freaked out if I packed a Byron player. Wait, not a center back, but like any? <laughs> it feels bad, man. Hamburg. Dude. hate everything all right you know what i don't care i yeah i just I, I yes i realize i just wasted a minute and a half of your guys's life 
I, I apologize. Let's just get back to opening these packs. Use it for the Greek one instead. Oh, you're right. I could have used it for the Greek one instead. Uh... You know what? No, I'm not going to do it again. That's a good... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of it. Getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of it. All right, we're just moving on. We're pretending that didn't happen. Pretending that didn't happen. I'm live recording right now, okay? I can't remember everything. We got another board! Disco? Okay. 84 rated Ascensio. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> Cancelo, okay. I'm not gonna use Kimmich, dudes. I'm not using an 84 rated player. That's just insane. That Asensio is, his neck is honestly, Asensio's neck is bigger, brighter, better than my entire future, honestly. Oh my God, I think his middle name is Neck. Quagliarella, ah, can't really use him for much of anything. This goes to center mid. Oh, is he? Okay. Fair play. I mean, I can make my neck big as well. See? Easy. If only that was the actual interim icon. Man, I really want EA to give us all the all the icons we want, man. You know? Give us a Kafu. Give us a Mycon. If Schneider retires from football, then give us a give us an icon Schneider. You know, give us a Zizou. Give us these players that we all want, man. Bring George Best back. Oh, okay. Zaha, that's not bad. All right, here we go. So we should got what, about five or six of these left, and then, and then it should be all um, La Liga packs. This started started out well. This this you know pack opening started out very very well, and now is dwindled to absolutely nothing. They'll give us ZZ, not Zizu. <laughs> Yo, an icon Batistuta? Hell yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, like a Lampard, a Steven Gerrard, like... No way! Let's go, Pack Gods! We have our own untradeable Astori. Now, I did spend 5k on the Astori I bought to put a shadow on him. Um, But there it is. Let's go. We have our own untradeable Astori. Who? I'm going to go spend another 5,000 coins and put a shadow on him. 100%. Um, I think this one I might just keep in my trade pile forever, man. Honestly. I think I might just keep that one in my, uh, in my trade pile. All right. Riposa, Astori. Riposa. It's his time to rest, chat. It's his time to rest. That's amazing. That's the most fitting, fitting pack pull we could get, honestly. All right, 82 rated. All right. Come on. Selling him for minimum? Um, see, the problem is, though, the only person that would get that is someone that's sitting there... This is going to sound terrible, but the only person that's sitting there trying to get an Astori for cheap is, is literally someone that's looking to make profit off of Astori passing away. And that is not someone that I want to be selling an Astori to with a Shadow Chem style. Um, you know? Uh, if anything, I think it might even be better for me to just quick sell that uh, story with the shadow card. Uh, I, I would, I would literally rather do that and make sure no one's sitting there trying to snipe at a story to make money off of him. Um, so I think I might just do that. Honestly, you know, we'll take the seven, eight thousand coin loss, um, you know, and uh, and do that in honor of him. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think the best way to do it is is to just uh, is to just. To just get, uh, to just discard him. <clears throat> or keep him on the transfer list. For now, we'll keep him on the transfer list until I, until I make a proper decision about it. Center mid. 
Oh my god! There's an informed Suarez at Barcelona! We did not get him! We did not. Although that informed Suarez is definitely going to be on the thumbnail. There it is. Okay, got another board. Thank you. Come on. Modric? Goalkeeper. Ooh. Oh, that's that's actually pretty good. Oh, no. Wait. Never mind. For some reason, I thought that was going to be all block. 85 rated, up, 85 rated upgraded Subasic, I guess, will help us in SPCs going forward. So, it's not the end of the world. Um... But not who I was uh, not who I was hoping for. All right, the final rare player pack right here, and then we get into the La Liga player packs, the La Liga 25k player packs. Now I'm excited about these uh, La Liga player packs. I just, you know hopefully it ends up being something half decent. Poulsen we could use in the uh, in the Bundesliga one. All right, there you go. We got 12 of these, bros. 12 of these. Now once I start getting players uh, where it ends up being like a bunch of duplicates that I have to discard. Um, We'll probably go and use uh, a bunch of the duplicates as players in the marquee matchups. All right, first one. Can we get a board? No. When that thin ratings refresh board comes up or pack comes up, you just know you're going to get absolutely nothing from it. 76 rated Korea. Okay. All right. How have I managed to get a duplicate? out of this and i think the other one i have is also untradeable oh no he is tradable okay nice all right number two i'd love a bail or a messy board come on come on oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god why you do this oh oh really oh my god you think La Liga pack Argentina? Of course I'm not going to think about Ruli or think about the other Barcelona Argentinian. Oh my, I was actually ready to start freaking out. Oh, we could have put Messi right back into our team. Imagine a full untradeable front line of striker Cristiano. Untradeable, of course. Oh, Ronaldinho untradeable and then Leo Messi untradeable. Oh, oh my, wow, I already have an untradeable card. That's crazy. Wow. Look how quickly you start getting these, you know, discardable cards. Duplicates. Any La Liga inform? Dude, second or third inform Luis Suarez. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, 81 rated Fernandez. That'll help us for the uh for the Real SBC. Okay, another duplicate player. Gabriel Paulista. This is the Arsenal set. Okay, I, I clearly have forgotten. With all the problems that Arsenal have, is they sold Gabriel Paulista? With all of the defensive issues and everything that they got going on, they got rid of Paulista. When did... Did that happen in the summer? Or was it a January thing? God, dude. I honestly, I can't... He's awful. Any more awful than the guys trying to fill that back line for you already? Or was it the summer? Okay, my bad. I, I must have just completely forgotten that they let him go. Let him go. Wow, the boards are few and far between with these ones. <clears throat> okay, eighty-one rated Ben Yedder. He's just having trouble learning English. Just a t uh, rough all around. Okay, got it. Three star, three star. So, not going to be too too insane. Um, I mean, I know that at this point, these guys are all just going to be untradeables. I hate getting rid of these cards because I do look at that like 800 coins wasted, but you know, whatever for the pack opening, we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that. All right. Board. Yes. 
right back. It's not great. Definitely not great, but whatever. 83, another 83 rated card to put in the club. Uh, 82 rated Kovacic. Oh, see, here we go now. It's just getting more and more. Um, okay. Okay, let's do one more. If I get a bunch of duplicates, then I might I might decide to start working through some of these marquee matchups. <clears throat> I feel like something big's gonna come out of this. We'll see. We'll see. Let's double check. Ah. All right. I think we're gonna at risk of just getting rid of duplicates over and over again. Let's go look at the marquee matchups and see. Uh, if I can, if I, if I can stuff in some, uh, some La Liga, some La Liga cards. Okay. Uh, so we got to go buy, ugh, it's kind of gross. Got to go buy a Byron player. Um, okay. Here. This is going to be unfortunate. And you know what's crazy, man? Is I literally just got rid of, like... Um, I got rid of all my bronze Byron players. Last week, I think it was. Okay, 2100... I mean, oh wow, never mind. <laughs> Missed the boat on that one. Hello? I didn't register? Oh! Alright, there we go. Task completed, buy a player. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We unlocked something from the daily rewards. Great. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. 2,000. Listing up a Taliso. Okay. Um, let's see what we got here. Do we unlock a 50k pack? No. I've never... Has anybody packed something insane? Like, every once in a while, someone tweets me a daily objective with like, Oh my god, I bought a player for 300 coins and I got a 125k pack from it. Are those fake... Like, or have, have people actually packed a 50k pack, a 100k pack, a 125k pack? You know? Like, I, or is that just all BS? It feels like it's all BS. By the way, actually, next episode might be a full-on draft for you guys. Um, I know a lot of people are asking me to do the draft. We've got draft tokens. So, uh, we talked about Astori today. We're going to, over the next few days, start piecing together an Astori tribute squad. Uh, next episode might actually be uh, a, just a straight up live draft, which might take me 40 minutes, might take me two hours. I'm not sure how long it would take to run through an entire uh, draft, but I think we'll do that. And then the episode after that, the weekend episode, will uh, will be the tribute to Astori, the squad builder and all of that stuff. And then obviously looking at uh, the league SBCs, hopefully as they come out. Buy someone for 2,000 coins, they give you a 250 coins back. It's hilarious, dude. Um, all right, so we said Bayern, right? Now, Bundesliga players minimum of four. Uh, 90 chemistry. Okay, so, what's really nice though is again, I, the, it does not need to be gold at all. So, Bundesliga, um, Let's see what we got in the Bundesliga. Because we, we do have untradables, right? I don't have any camps. Do I have any CDMs? Got an untradable Sahin, so might as well use them. Okay, we got an untradable Sommer. Um, got you. Wow, I've literally cashed everything out. Impressive. Um do 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 um 
What is the route to make this all work? Rare players minimum of three, 90 chem. So if I just go right to La Liga, can we make this? Am I really going to be getting rid of just golds, dude? It just seems silly to do that when I don't need to, right? Um. Oh my goodness. Let me see if we can make this work. Boom. Boom. This is this is where this is where the bronze pack method's gonna is gonna come good. I think I, I think I'm gonna get the chem. Alright, untradeables. Look at this, man. Look at this. Cam. Okay, one. I think I think we got it. I honestly think we got it. Yeah, boom, let's go. Super weird setup. Like super super weird setup. Um Now if I make him a right, I'm just wondering, like, would I make more money if I just sold this guy and used an untradeable player instead? Holy god. Yes, Nick. Yes, that is that is absolutely what you do. Do that. Um, see what this guy's price is going for. Right, do that. Kimmich. Uh, right mid to right wing, right wing to right mid. There we go. Okay, that should work. Boom. I think that's better, right? You're getting rid of another untradeable card that we don't really have much use for. So that's a jumbo gold pack out of that one. Perfect. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, I remember I remember this one. So again, we need a 70 rating. So if I just go with like La Liga here, here, and here, I think we're good. What do we got? Let's go uh, untradeables. Boom. Yes. Uh, boom. I'm like, I'm going the wrong way. CDM. Does that get us there? 71 rated. Beautiful. Okay. So there's the marquee matchup done. This guy's untradeable, so I can't sell him on. It's a premium gold pack. It's nothing special, but all untradeable cards used there. Wrong one, Nick. La Liga 2. No, I'm using La Liga to get rid of some of the untradeables, Luca. It's okay, bro. Um, all right, England players. Now, this is going to be a weird one. Gold, exactly five. Okay, so let's go... Um, Nation, England. Do we have any gold? No, not special. Whoops. Gold. Here we go. Um... So we've got you, we've got you, we've got you, 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 you. Okay, so first things first, untradeables is what we use. So we've got one. Uh, what's the chemistry? 90, yeah? So we've got you, you're untradeable. You're untradeable. Wait, are you untradeable? No, you're not untradeable. Um, you are though. Okay, minimum of six. Okay, so that gets that gets rid of all the. Uh... Do I have a championship? Hold on. Okay, so I do have some championship players. Striker. Wait, what? Premier League. Sorry, championship golds. Here we go. Um, so we've got a striker and a center mid. So what I'm, well, what I'm thinking here is because this guy is tradable, um, it would just, again, make more sense to get rid of. Okay, so gold players, exactly five. And then now we could just use the lowest of the lowest rated cards. Like a uh, uh, goalkeeper, let's do nation, England, just make it easy. There we go. 49 rated. Okay. Left back. 
52 rated. Uh, left mid, 49 rated. And then right back. Right on the money on 90 chem. I did not plan that out, but it worked out perfectly. Small Electrum player pack. So again, all untradeable uh, English players. All untradeable Forest and Darby players. I don't know if this guy's really worth anything. So I'm probably just going to hold on to him, but... That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure there isn't something in there that's worth like a, a ton of money. <clears throat> okay, and then yeah, this is this is another uh this is another interesting one. Team overall rating 78. So uh 85 chem, so that uh, does make that a little bit easier. Get a super link here. Uh, if I make him a center mid, he would actually be on full chem as well. And then I, I honestly think players from the same nation, maximum of six. But I honestly think we do um, we do La Liga again. So low to high striker. We'll go La Liga. Just try and get rid of a few more untradeables. Instead of just... Oh, geez, Louise. Instead of discarding him, it would be better. Um, what was the rating again? 78, yeah? So... Uh, let's go with a Ben Yetter. Uh, Gabriel. CDM. Uh, 79. So he's, he's tradable. So we'll do that. Left back. Do that. Center back. Got to get some decently rated, decently rated cards. Okay. So Martinez. Goalkeeper. Uh, Moya. Players from the same nation, maximum of six. One, two, three, four. So we got four, five, six. The other ones can be um, Spanish as well. Okay, so let's go with center mids now. There we go. We did this one actually pretty quick for, for me, for my standards. Let's go 79 and 80 rated. And then we'll reduce the... Um, that's a 76. This should take us to 78 then. There you go. I mean, come on. I told you guys that was the SBC uh, brainchild. Let's go. Right, you're untradeable. You're untradeable. And yeah, we already confirmed that you're untradeable. Beautiful. All right. So, um, that's that. Perfect. Um, I love it. So we got a gold player pack out of that. And what do you get for completing the whole thing? Use two tradables? Mm, I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. A rare Electrum player pack. Okay. Very nice. <clears throat> did I? Oh. All right. That's, that's okay. Good, 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 good. All right. Well, to end off the episode, uh, you know, the, um, uh, the tribute, uh, the tribute to our story and the pack opening. We've got 11 more packs to go through. Uh, I think we probably continue opening these first. Yeah, the La Liga packs. And then we'll finish with all of these other packs. I think that's going to be the best way to go about it. So thank you for watching the episode. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Next episode, we should be doing a full draft. And then the episode after that, we'll be doing a, a story. Um, uh... Uh, and a story and friends squad builder for the weekend league, essentially. So, we got Guardado out of that one. I wonder how many discard players we're going to get out of these final, like, five or six player packs. Okay, so that's not too bad. One Sanabria discard is going to hurt too much. How's the new controller? I, I don't got it yet, dude. Steph is on her way home. Um, still got this terrible broken one, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit me with a good card. Messi. No, man. Gaetan. I thought Gaetan is gone. Isn't he in Isn't he in China now? Isn't he in China? I thought I thought for sure he's in China. Okay, so we got a Silicon. That's actually pretty good. Beautiful. All right, hey. This should make the La Liga League SBC. So cheap to do. Like we felt, so we've had what, 12 of them? 
12 times. We've got at least 120. Let's say 100 players. Another board! 100 La Liga players into the club. Oh my god, again. Oh, we got to discard a Ruli! Oh, why you do this? There's so many boards in La Liga. Why are you giving me duplicates? That's unfortunate. And yes, I'm not going to bore you guys to death. I'll probably just be getting rid of all of these. Just wanted to double check. Oh, that hurts. I just want you guys to know that the stingy side of Nick 28T, this hurts my soul getting discarding five cards. Um, and 183 rated card. Like, that actually hurts. But, oh well. What are you going to do? So three more of these. Come on. Minimize the duplicates. I'm not even asking for anything great. Just let's minimize the duplicates. Another board! I mean... I mean, really? Have I actually just gotten three Rulies? How? How was that possible? How was that possible, dude? <laughs> what? Wow, unreal. Okay, at least for this one, he's the only duplicate, so... You mean Ruli? What did I say? Three Rulies, one Gaetan, no Messi. Fantastisch! Fantastisch! Another board. If this is if this is a fourth Ruli, I'm punching myself in the ZZ. Center mid. No. Seven rated Iniesta! Let's go! That'll make the Barcelona team super cheap. Hercules! 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 Let's go! That's fantastic. I thought it was going to be Isco for a second. Center mid Isco, right? 86 rated or whatever, but that's good. That's as good, if not better. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Ooh, again, having to discard a few players, but there you go. And a Roberto. Very nice. All right. Pack luck. Oh! This guy have a, a tradable card, do I not? Yeah, good brain. Probably discarded that guy a few times because I'm dumb. <sighs> Put him in a prime icon SBC. Yeah, we either, depending on what the rating that's needed for the Barcelona squad, we'll either use any stuff. It's a high rated squad in the Barcelona uh, team for the league SBC. If it's a low rated squad, I'll take that Iniesta and use him in the Frank Rye card, right? We've only have two teams left to complete the Frank Rye card prime icon card. So we'll use them there, right? We'll, uh, we'll make the right. We'll try and make the right decision on on where we got to use them. All right, final pack, not a board, so it doesn't really matter. Final La Liga player pack, of course. I don't think I've packed this guy yet, so that should be good. Yeah. Ooh. You know what? I'm down. That's very good. Very nice. Very minimal amount of. Uh, uh, let's just double check. Oh, waste of time. All right, now we've got the final five marquee matchup packs. So we've got a jumbo gold pack, premium gold pack, player pack, rare electrum pack, and small prime electrum pack. Okay. All right, so we'll do the uh, 7.5k pack first. See what we can get out of these. Come on, marquee matchups. I honestly have never, in mar within marquee matchups, have ever packed anything good. Do I, do I deserve anything more good? considering how good the FIFA 18 Poor Man Road to Glory series has been in terms of our pack luck? No, I realize that. I, people get so mad at me whenever I say, oh, I hope we get something good. My comment section is just filled with, really? Did I just hear Nick say he hopes he gets something good sitting there with a red packed Hazard and a striker in form Ronaldo and a, you know, and all these other crazy cards? I mean, yeah. Obviously, I always want to pack something good. I realize I probably am one of the few, you know, few people that don't deserve to get anything else, <laughs> but... It's always nice to pack good things. Um, okay, so let's get this jumbo gold a pack. <clears throat> and what I want to say here as well is because I believe Astori's number is 13. So in the squad, Astori's number will be 13. Um, I do not want to ask for the usual 2,000 likes or 3,000 likes that the Poor Man Road to Glory series gets. So for this mini tribute to Astori, let's try and do your very best if this video is near 1300 likes or at 1300 likes you know the one three just leave it there all right even if you want to like the video as much as possible just leave it on leave it on the 1300 leave it on the 13 okay i mean if possible let's leave the video on 13 likes that would be that would be even more amazing um i don't know if that would be possible because a lot of people bless you guys just support the series and like the videos before doing anything else but you know, 
if you see the video at, at 1300 likes and you're thinking of clicking the like button for this video let's 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 leave it let's uh let's leave it at that uh all right so we got a premium gold player pack come on baby come on okay no board there that's okay that's okay no side boobage basta is that upgraded or has basta always been 80 rated i thought he was a non-rare okay i think i think i may be i may be losing my damn mind I think last year he was a non-rare. Maybe in like FIFA 16 he was a non-rare. All right, so got a rare Electrum pack and we've got a small Prime Electrum player pack. So let's open this one first. Come on, finish us with a beautiful bang. Okay, or not, no problem. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm not gonna complain. Why would I complain? I'm not gonna complain. I'm definitely not gonna complain. Holy moly. I think. I, I think both these cards are decently priced. I think this guy might actually be quite a bit. 16 cal. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's back down in price. But still. 6,900? Yes, please. Let's do that. Okay, that's good. Feels nice, man. Let's do 6,500. Hey, man. I'll celebrate a 6,500 coin pack pull. And then... Feels bad. Okay. There we go. That's, that's good. Hey, marquee matchups. I always say they never give me anything good. That's decent. Final pack of the episode. I love you guys. God bless. Grazie a tutti for watching the video. And um, I love you dudes, man. Make sure you, uh, you give your loved ones a kiss tonight. Make sure you let them know you love them, all right? Wilfred Zaha. 